Hello, all you happy people out there. I, If you are like me and you are trying to figure out how to do more stuff on your Steam Deck a little bit easier without needing to plug it into something or without even needing to be in the same room as it, this video is for you. Without further ado, let's get into it. First things first, what you need to do is come to this Steam link I'll put, a, I'll put a link in the description. I don't know why it's not on like a Windows store or on the Steam store. Hello? But you should download this Steam link for Windows 10. I've tried doing the Steam link through Steam directly and I keep having issues. Many varied. I'm not going to get into all of that. Could just be a user error. This works for me every time. So download Steam link here. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go over onto your uh, onto your onto your Steam Deck, and we're gonna flip over to that now. And as you are on your Steam Deck, you're gonna lift it up. You're gonna just go over here. You're gonna come down to your settings. You're gonna go down to Remote Play. You're going to enable Remote Play, and then you're going to pair to your Steam Link. This is going to be on the Steam Link app, but you'll just press it here. The, device, the Steam Link device will give you a pin and then you will connect it here. Once you've done that, you'll just be able to come back to your computer. Do, 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 do. And this didn't actually change the thing in my doc. So there we go. Uh, and we are going to open up Steam Link. Ba, 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 ba. Checking, all good. Just gonna press start playing and it's gonna launch right into our Steam Deck menus. Now, as you can see here, I can access everything on the Steam Deck. I had tried to jank your way. You could just do a non add non-Steam game and add Dolphin web browser, but it only works on the desktop. And if you try to access it while it's still in big big mode, gaming mode, it's gonna give you all kinds of issues. So I recommend against that one. That's why it's pulled up here. I also tried doing Moonlight and Star Citizen. Uh, RSI launcher, all other like other apps, um, because I've done that on just regular Steam Link with my other computer before, and that's worked. But on the Steam Deck, it does not. Now, what all can we do with this? Well, one really important thing we can do is we can come and switch to desktop mode, and we can do stuff on desktop mode using our mouse, keyboard, larger screen, a lot easier. And you don't need to have a dock for this. Okay, so I know some people are just gonna say, "Well, just use a USB-C dock," and that you can do that. It is an option, it, it, it does work. I just find that it's not quite as good at it. Okay, sometimes it will disconnect your session, so then you just gotta come back in and do it all over again. But it's gonna allow you to come back into the desktop mode. So, it might kick you out for a hot second, just click it again. I think it's because it's technically loading a separate operating system or something. I don't really know, I'm not a Linux head, so. Some one of the Linux heads out there can explain that. Um, but this will allow you to access updates for your other applications. The heroic launcher for me is like stuck on a needing an update. I've tried several times, I might just have to hard do it on uh just like hard try on that one. Um but this will allow you to, to access other things. If you're trying to do ROMs and emulators, for example, it's way easier to do on desktop mode. So this will just give you a lot more flexibility, make it a lot easier to access all this stuff and to work on your Steam Deck. Or the other thing too that you can do really easy is just have your Steam Deck in the other room, have it charging and you're like, okay, you know what I need? You know what I really need with my Steam Deck? I need to install some games. And I will tell you one of my greatest peeves with the Steam Deck generally is that downloads does not work super great, okay? If I wanna like play a game while I'm downloading something, it just it just doesn't work awesome. Again, people are going to be out there. They're going to give me some new fix. I'm I'm willing and happy to accept those fixes in my life. But until such time as I have that, I'm going to be on here. I'm going to just put this window in the background. I'm just going to go to my Steam menu. I'm going to look at my library. I'm going to look at games that I own. Um, ooh, it's giving me a great for remote play section. That is new and excellent. Huh. That's pretty cool. But great on deck, I can just click on one of these. We'll say Baldur's Gate, and I can just update it from here. And I can let that update in the background while I 
work on some other project or I just am checking my email, whatever it is I'm doing on my main computer, it is gonna go much slower this way because it is using a heavy bandwidth to connect the Steam Link client. So the other option is to just go ahead and close, close Steam Link. Hold the escape key, come to stop. Your cursor will sometimes disappear by the way, but you're just gonna go to stop streaming and being bada boom, you're all done. So uh, as you can see back on our desk shot, that's still downloading Baldur's Gate update, ready to go. And that's all taking care of itself. I can just click back into it um, and check it after a few minutes to see if it's completed the update. Um, it did actually stop though. It did. So, you know, my the problem continues. But anyway, I could have it up in the background and it'll just work slowly. And if I'm just passively working on a different project, that that's that's fine and it works just great for me. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Is this something you that will help you with your workflow, with your productivity, help you uh, better manage your Steam Deck and the issues that you have with it? Or is this just meaningless triviality because you already have a USB-C dock that works perfect for your Steam Deck that connects to your same keyboard and mouse as your main computer and the monitor as well. Let me know in the comments down below. Until next time, good luck out there. Have some fun. Keep on gaming. Bye for now.